Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I thought after my last video, which was my sort of top tips on how to draw black fur on white paper with coloured pencils, I thought for this one I'd show you how I draw white fur on white paper with coloured pencils. And it's probably one of the trickiest things to draw, like white on white. So, you know, there's many subtle colours involved and you almost need to go darker than you think. If you'd like an in-depth tutorial where I discuss professional coloured pencil techniques and the exact colours that I'm using, and you can draw along with me, then head over to my Patreon, the link is down below in the video description and you'll also get access to up to 30 tutorials. So for this video I'm just going to be sharing with you my top tips really when it comes to drawing white fur on white paper. I'm drawing on extra white hot pressed Fabriano Artistico paper and I'm using predominantly Faber-Castell Polychromos and Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. As with any drawing that you do with coloured pencils, you want to start off really, really lightly and map out those shadows and basic shapes within the fur. I always like to use either a warm grey one or a cold grey one to start off with, or both. They're both really pale neutral shades, but slightly different, so they're really good for those initial layers. So once I've mapped out those basic shapes in the fur, I like to go in with a harder pressure and sketch in those shadows. I think it's fine to be quite messy at this stage as well, you just want to get some of those first initial layers down really. I also like to go in with a few yellowy cream tones and work into those shadows and I'm also going to pick out some smaller tufts of hair and sort of shade at each end um, towards the centre to give the impression that the light is hitting it right in the middle and this can help to capture that light in and show how some bits of fur are in front of others and it also just adds to that realistic element as well. There's a few shades of the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils which I'd 100% recommend when you're drawing white fur. There's the buff titanium, the pink white and the raw umber 10%. The 10% just means like how vibrant or saturated the colour is. Um, all these shades are really pale with like a subtle tint of yellow or pink. And because the luminance pencils, they're like predominantly wax based, meaning that you can use these pencils to blend the polychromo layers together and just smooth everything out. I think polychromos and luminance pencils work really well together. They just go hand in hand. The polychromos are predominantly oil based so it, it sort of depends on how you use them together but you can use your luminance pencils as like a, a blending tool almost. With white fur you do always need to go a little bit darker than you think and when you do pull out those subtle um, colours that are reflected on the fur from the lighting you almost want to make them darker than you think. It's really easy for white fur on white paper to look quite flat um, and I think the key to making it not look flat is to pull out some of those really subtle colours in the fur and focus on achieving that tonal value first before going in too early with the details. Another shade that I forgot to mention um, of the luminance pencils is the silver grey. It's like a really, really, really pale blue colour, like it's literally almost white. Um, so again, it's really good for blending and just adding that really subtle tint of blue to the fur as well. There is always quite a lot of blue, pink and yellow in white fur. Um, in black fur, it's more like dark blue, purple and brown, really. Uh, but you just, it really depends on the reference photo as well. Um, Obviously it's hard to photograph black dogs or you know black pets or white pets because they can literally just look like a blob of black or a blob of white. Um, it's hard to capture that detail in the photograph. Um, your lighting needs to be perfect in a way. 
like not in direct sunlight because then you can lose some of that detail but then again not too much in the shadows because the fur might look darker than it actually is um so yeah it really depends on the quality of the ref reference photo that you're working from if the reference photo is too light or too dark and it's difficult to pick out those details or colors in the fur you can always change your sort of exposure or brightness or brilliant settings on your iphone or your laptop or whatever you're used to working from um, and it'll just make it slightly darker and it will hopefully bring bring to light some of those details so you can just see them a bit more clearly For those final details at the end, I like to go in with my ultra fine Mono Zero Elastoma Eraser. That's a bit of a mouthful, but I'll leave the list of materials I use and a link to them underneath in the video description. Um, so as you can see, it's, re it's basically like a really tiny rubber at the end of a pen. So firstly, it's really easy to control um, and it can erase the sort of top layers. I like to use this removal technique to represent the wispy hairs that fall in front of like other areas and it works quite well when you erase it into the darker shadows as well because it's just clearer to see um, it's also nice because it's quite soft it's not like a harsh line so it again just adds that realistic element in quite a subtle way but it also creates that realistic level of depth the Caran Dash White Museum Aquarelle Pencil is also one of those white pencils that's really good for showing over multiple layers as well so I tend to use that at the end as well, just to add some more subtle, intricate hair details. I also like to use my Fine Nib Uniball Posca Pen in white, which is like a paint pen, like a permanent marker. So it's amazing for showing up over multiple layers of coloured pencil. I'm also using it um, really, really lightly to a point where I'm like literally hardly even touching the paper, but I'm making really fine flyaway hairs. Um, in and amongst the fur, which looks quite intricate, but it's really easy to do. You can then always go back in with like a warm grey 3 or a warm grey 4 and just darken some of those shadows again just to create a bit more of a contrast. So that's it for my top tips on how I draw white fur on white paper with coloured pencils. Like I said at the start, if you'd like a more in-depth tutorial where you can literally draw along with me and I discuss everything like step by step, then please head over to my Patreon. The link is in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this short top tips video and please let me know what you thought and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.